Couple left, uh, Senator Barefoot. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, my question isn't about the ESSA specifically, but it is about student success and every child succeeding. And I just wanted you to have the opportunity to speak publicly on some things that I've been reading in the newspaper about some secret meetings that have been taking place with the State Board and the Department of Public Instruction and the diversion of uh, dollars from our excellent Public Schools Act and Read to Achieve program to kind of growing the bureaucracy or helping cut the bureaucracy, however you want to describe it. And I was just hoping that you could reassure us that no dollars that were appropriated for the excellent Public Schools Act or the Read to Achieve program are going to be diverted away from helping students to funding reorganizations or new positions at the Department of Public Instruction. Uh, Dr. Thank, you, thank you, Senator Barefoot, for that question. The General Assembly required the Department of Public Instruction to cut its staff by $2.5 million. I will be glad to send the members of the General Assembly, this committee, the list of positions for which we are cutting to meet that requirement and the amount of money that we are taking from operations to meet the $2.5 million. Also, the General Assembly, and thankfully so, uh, appropriated $62 million for the Excellent Schools Act, uh, Public Schools Act. A big portion of that deals with uh, Read to Achieve. I will also be happy to send all of you a, a list showing how those dollars are being allocated to each of our school districts to total the $62 million for this year, which includes an increase of $3.8 million. And then, uh, of course, the State Board of Education to date has made two decisions about the appropriations of that $62 million. One decision was made last month uh, as to what the formula was for one-to-one -one tutoring. Uh, Read to Achieve requires one-to-one uh, -one tutoring, and so a formula was developed to treat schools in a fair way to get the tutoring dollars. Uh, this week, um, in fact, tomorrow and Thursday, the State Board of Education will vote on the formula for going for money to go to summer camps uh, that would include and it expands from third grade to second grade to first grade. So. Uh, we will be glad to provide you all of that information so that you can see that, uh, first of all, the dollars for Read to Achieve, the $62 million that you're talking about, will be spent for the um, teaching of reading in our schools. And I'll be glad to answer any more questions about that. Follow, Follow up. up. Because I am in receipt of the letter from Lee Roberts, then... Uh, uh, the state budget officer that advised the Department of Public Instruction that two of the methods that they were using to um, to manage the flex cuts were not appropriate or within the intent of the budget. And so I just want to make, I just want to ask you publicly that no monies, you can tell us today that, you can share the numbers later, but no monies that were appropriated to go specifically to the classroom uh, will not be used to fund any type of bureaucratic or personnel um, growth or reorganization or relabeling at the Department of Public Instruction. Okay. May I respond? Okay. Uh, first of all, I hope you do have a copy, or I'll be glad to provide you the copy of the December 31 letter that we sent to uh, Mr. Roberts. Uh, I'll also be, a, be willing to provide you the other two pieces of correspondence for which we had with Mr. Roberts. Uh, in your budget bill, you indicated that we should consult with the Office of State Budget and Management, and the letters to which you refer are our, uh, was our strategy to confer with the Office of State Budget and Management. The dollars, the $62 million appropriated by the General Assembly, including almost 3.7 to 3.8 million dollars increase will go to our schools to teach children how to read. There is a component for which we are supporting statewide the, the uh, purchase of the EVOS that's necessary to do the work. 
uh, but you have my assurance that it is the intent of of the Department of Public Instruction as well as the State Board that those dollars go to our schools to help improve reading as well as the nine other provisions that are in the Excellent Schools Act. Follow up. Uh, last follow up. Because one of the cons Senator concerns that I have is I've seen the new organizational chart which so shows someone at the top um, of DPI I don't know how much their salary is now. That would or, be me. Or, no, it's, uh, uh, I mean, underneath you, at the top underneath you. Um, it's called a new a chief performance officer. Uh, don't know how much that salary is. So I just want, I'm just concerned, and I want to make sure, not, not just the Excellent Public Schools Act, but that none of the money that's supposed to go to children in the classroom is diverted away into new um, six-figure positions at the Department of Public Instruction. Uh, again. I give you my assurance, and we will be glad to provide the data to support what I'm saying. Uh, the position that you are talking about has been a part of our department for uh, some time. Uh, the title changed. In fact, as you would look uh, in the emails or the letters that you have, and maybe you don't have all of them, you will see the correspondence back and forth from Mr. Roberts about reorganization. If you'll also look at that same chart, you will see that we have identified by a footnote the people in the department working directly to carry out the laws, the Excellent Schools uh, Act law. And we did that intentionally. We did that to show how the State Board of Education and the Department of Public Instruction are aligned with the requirements of the General Assembly. Uh, I must add that the Department of Public Instruction has been cut with over 300 positions, including the, the project-based time certain positions. And candidly, with the General Assembly giving us another set of reports to go to you, uh, complex reports that require a lot of work, uh, we are struggling. To meet, those, uh, to meet those requirements. However, there are people in the Department of Public Instruction who are devoted to each child being successful, and we will continue to do our best to meet the needs of our school districts so that they can meet the needs of each child. It is our intent, as I said earlier, that the dollars that were appropriated from the General Assembly for the Excellent Schools Act will go to schools to improve reading achievement as well as the nine other provisions in that excellent public schools act. Uh, thank you, Dr. Atkinson.